Translocation, which is the movement of plants from one place to another, is one of the ways of preventing species extinctions. We need these best practice guidelines to share information about translocations so they're done in the best way possible and we have the best chance of a successful outcome. I'm Dr Lucy Commander. Um, I am the project manager for the Australian Network for Plant Conservation's uh, third edition of the guidelines for the translocation of um, threatened flora in Australia. And it's funded by the Threatened Species Recovery Hub. The first edition of the guidelines was published in 1997 and there was a second edition published in 2004. So since then, there have been an, a large number of translocations that have happened across Australia. And so we've learnt a lot from these translocations. Also, some translocations have now been monitored for 20 years. So we have a huge amount of information on what works and what doesn't and why. That's why it's crucial to have this new third edition of the guidelines. We've had extensive input into this edition of the guidelines from people from the major organisations around the country the who have involvement in plant translocations. You. We've collated all new photos and 23 new case studies as well. If you're familiar with the old guidelines, the second edition, the third edition has new and expanded content such as the importance of long-term monitoring or how to engage the community in translocation. This information in the guidelines is, has really been culmination of lifelong work for many people um, around Australia. Everybody who is involved in plant translocation should get themselves a copy of the new edition of the guidelines. It's really critical that everybody from all facets of government, community and consulting are all reading from the same rule book and that everybody is following the same processes so that you're familiar with all of the other facets of plant translocations. This new edition of the guidelines really couldn't have been possible without the steering committee from the Australian Network for Plant Conservation. In particular, Linda Broadhurst and David Coates have been instrumental um, in making this new edition happen. The translocation guidelines help fight plant extinction because they are providing up-to-date information on all facets of translocation to ensure successful outcomes and preventing species extinctions.